The Miami Heat, they've done it. They win their first championship in franchise history. The Miami Heat, the 2006 NBA Championship champions, and they do it on the road. What an impressive performance here in Game 6. And that's it. For the third straight season, New York has eliminated Miami in a deciding game. The final score today in Game 7, New York 83 and Miami 82. And after all those playoff battles and heartaches, it was time for change. And heading into the summer of 2000, change would come. And the Miami Heat roster would be dramatically different. This is a disease in which the filters of the kidney leak protein into the urine. If you continue to leave, leak large amounts of protein into the urine for a long period of time, eventually you would need dialysis or a transplant. Pinned on the hip, takes the contact and puts it through. And Miami's on a 12-3 run over the last four and a half minutes. Alonzo Mourning celebrates as the Heat tie it at 91. There will require an adjustment period for Alonzo Mourning to get back into it. His immersion into the NBA stream is going to be gradual. He's not going to be playing the 35 minutes. You're getting the best defensive player in the NBA. Because of my dedication to this game, over the years I've been extremely committed and overcome all of the obstacles trying to put the Miami Heat in a position to win a championship. Now but one more thing to play for right now, and that's a championship. It'll be three, so Anthony Carter, starting in place of the injured and ineffective Tim Hardaway, has picked up three fouls. Now Pat Riley is bent out of shape. Bruce Bowen, a very, very poor free throw shooter. 47-48%. He's got to step up. He's missed a lot of crucial free throws in Miami in tough situations. 48% for the regular season for Bruce Bowen. Five-time All-Star just four years ago, first-team All-NBA, and now settling into his role a little bit better. You've been a starter all your life, and now you're a role player off the bench. He's a hard-nosed guy, and he's a guy who wants to win, so he's going to make that adjustment. I'm not really concerned about where I am. I'm concerned about where the team is, you know. I'm, I'm pretty much focused on trying to uplift the player, the team, and try to the minutes that I'm out there on the court, make sure they're positive minutes so that um, they're productive minutes so that we're winning. Alonzo Mourning, a 65% free throw shooter. In fact, the Miami Heat are next to last in the NBA at 68%. Well, you can see the season he's down with the points, field goal percentage is down, and then also the rebound. Alonzo Mourning's comeback has been slowed once again. The Miami center will be out indefinitely after doctors reviewed his latest blood test. Mourning missed three of Miami's last five games. He's still taking medication for the kidney disorder that was diagnosed last season. With the 10th pick in the 2002 NBA Draft, the Miami Heat select Teron Butler from the University of Connecticut. And I asked, was well, there a cure for this? And he said, no, there's no cure for this. You know, you're going to be on dialysis probably within the 10 to 12 months. You're going to need a transplant. Am I going to continue to be able to continue to play basketball? And he said, well, I don't know anything about that. That's up to you. This is the perfect place for this young guy to go. This guy's a scoring machine who really is a tough on break. When you consider the fact that at small forward, along with Grant at the power forward position, this was an excellent choice for Miami. We knew that this was necessary to take the next step. And Coach Riley mentioned to everybody, okay, here's the plan. And the players that we have, we're going to fight and try to win each game. But the franchise would be moving in a new direction, a new era. With the fifth pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Miami Heat select Dwayne Wade from Marquette University. His kidney disease forced him to miss the 2003 campaign. With his Heat contract expired, Mourning was a free agent. Seemingly healthy again, he signed with the Nets for $22.6 million over four years. The first day I said, I said, well, who is this guy? He just dominated the whole week. This story is a great story because it's really a story about a player who has great heart and he's one of the few guys in this league who feels privileged to be an NBA player. Mickey Harrison, the owner of the Heat, going along with Pat Riley's advice, signed him to a six-year, $65 million contract to receive real strong consideration for the All-Star team representing the Eastern Conference. He is a leader on this team. And today I can say for the first time in my seven years, we are rebuilding. Riley would relinquish his role as head coach to assistant Stan Van Gundy 
he moved to the front office to focus solely on reconstructing the heat. Uh, it's a dream come true. I'm um, blessed. I know I am. I uh, just know that hard work pays off, and you know, I'm the kind of player that you know I need to fine tune everything in my game. So I'm going to work on everything, the things I was good at and the things I need to get better at. Dwayne Wade, that Fearless. he's going to be a leader. Gritty, gutty. This guy is able to come in and say, listen, guys, you come behind me. You don't get that from rookies very often, but I'm seeing, seeing a guy that, you know, you just know he has that quality. And I don't get really wrapped up into the individual awards. I had to make a name for myself. It's always better when you can make a name for yourself. And, you know, right now, I think I'm rent um, reaping the benefits of it. So, you know, I'll take the playoffs right now over um, any Rookie of the Year award. And that'll do it. The Miami Heat. No one gave them a chance in March of making the playoffs. And now they move to the second round. As Miami wins all its four home games. This is it, and Reggie Miller throws it in the air, and Indiana has closed out the heat. And immediately, you've never heard 20,000 people more quiet because, boy, the Pacers know that they had their hands full. I know you guys are probably going to start talking about whose team is it. I'm letting you know now it's Dwayne Wade's team. He's that type of guard that could uh, lead us and do good things. And I'm just his big brother, and I'm just here to back him up. So this is Dwayne Wade's team. It's not my team. It's not just Shaq's team. It's, it's our team. And, and when I say our, I mean us as the Miami Heat. You know, that's that's the reason Shaq wanted to come to Miami, because we play as a team, and we want to continue to do that. So, you know, we all got to go out there every night and win together. So it's our team. Shaquille O'Neal and the Miami Heat have won 11 straight games. Shaquille O'Neal having fouled out. A look now at the Miami bench. Shaquille O'Neal and the Miami Heat will fly home with an 11th consecutive win. The top all-star vote getter in the East with over 2.4 million votes. 7-1 center and 12-time all-star Shaquille O'Neal. Morning is hearing it from the crowd. Alonzo lashed out at Nets ownership, leading to the trade to Toronto, which brought Vince Carter to New Jersey. Raptors bought out his contract. He became a free agent, made his way back to Miami. Miami 51 and 16, 11 straight wins, 18 of the last 20, and they've tied a franchise record with 14 straight at home. Wayne Wade, 27 points. I was, I was thinking too much. And I went in the locker room, all my teammates said something to me. But I think the thing that stuck with me most, uh, stuck with me most was Shaq told me to go out there and be the best player on the court and be the best player that I am. So I went out there and I tried to attack and make plays. Dwayne Wade is going to go back to the locker room. So, you know, Steve, you were right. He's definitely in a lot of pain right now. And he, and he, throws, he looks over at the Stan Van Gunn yeah. and he says, Coach, get me out of here. So you know he must be in a lot of pain to come out of a game like this. The Detroit Pistons, coming from behind in the final minutes, have defeated the Miami Heat 88-82 to in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final. In a deal that involved 13 players and five teams, the largest trade in NBA history, Antoine Walker has found a new home in Miami. The 10-year veteran is a key component to what hopes to be a championship-caliber team. I'm a 34-year-old, I try to act like I'm 24. I'm just like the big brother. I still try to play my game real consistently, but you got to uh, stand out, especially when you got a player like Dwayne. I don't mind stepping aside of him because he's a very unselfish player. Look at what Gary Payton had to say. If I was the coach, I would do it a different way. If he wants to play that way, then we've got to play that way. That's oh, just boy. the way coach is. Here we go. Coach Stan is a coach that wants to get everybody involved. I was confused coming into the season. We had a great year last year. When everything happened, Coach Riley called me and uh, asked me, you know, what I thought about it, and I gave my honest opinion on what I thought about everything. But I, at the same time, I told him, if you feel that this is going to make us a better team, I'm all for it. Shaquille O'Neal will get plenty of opportunities to test the NBA's new dress code over the course of the next two to four weeks thanks to his sprained ankle. The Heat were the fashionable pick to win the Eastern Conference with Shaq. Now their lineup is in need of some patchwork. He never lost the slick back hairstyle, and apparently Pat Riley never lost the urge to coach. The four-time NBA champion boss retook the reins in Miami as Stan Van Gundy stepped down. Van Gundy walks away from the heat because he wants to spend more time with his family. All these veteran players that haven't won a championship collectively get together with the resolve as entitled as some guys that have never won a championship until they feel, hey, look, it, I deserve one of these, I want one of these, and they do all the things they need to do to get one. The Miami Heat move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Carter will
was denied on the pass. Dwayne Wade in the heat for the second consecutive year go to the Eastern Conference Finals. You know, that 2003 draft is unbelievable. And uh, Coach Riley challenged me when, the season, when it started, when the playoffs started, said be the first one. And uh, I'm the first one in the 2003 draft to go to the finals. And uh, hopefully I'm the first one to win it. The Heat. 8-1 and one on their home floor during the playoffs, during the season, regular season, 31-10. and 10. They're a different team at home. They need to get back there, UB. And uh, the next three, if there will be three. You know, I look at the game as two different games. The first half, it was a bad game. But the second half, when my teammates needed me to step up, I tried to do it. And, um, you know, this was a great win, a great team victory. One win away from a championship. Can you smell it? Yeah, we can smell it. It's going to be tough. The Miami Heat, they've done it. They win their first championship in franchise history. The Miami Heat, the 2006 NBA championship champions, and they do it on the road. What an impressive performance here in game six. I love to play this game. I hate to lose. I love to win. So every night I step out there, that's going to be the same thing. No matter how many championships I have, that's always going to be my goal. It's to continue to get better and better because I can't play this game forever. But you want to leave a mark on the people that you run across. If we won, we could be a lot better than we was last year. We have opportunity to be even better. Maybe a couple splash here and there, but nothing dramatic. We made a dramatic change in the last two years, so I think nothing dramatic and just something a little, a little spice here and there. And that will wrap it. It's the fewest points Miami has ever scored against Chicago. And we're hearing boos from this crowd. I thought they were very compassionate. Shaquille O'Neal will not play again tonight. He has been practicing, but his knee is still not quite ready to go. I think he's moving forward. I think he's making progress. I don't see any major setbacks. We're moving forward. He's day to day. You forget that you become a world champion. You win a world championship. All of a sudden, you think you're a King Kong. You think you dominated everybody. We forget about how hard it was and, and how hard we had to play to win a title. We're not fighting for it like we did last year. Dwayne Wade holding either his elbow or his shoulder as Battier goes to make the pass. In fact, he's in so much pain, even though it's an apparent shoulder or elbow injury, he leaves in a wheelchair. 2006, foul shot attempt 16. Before the injury, 11 this season. And now, since the injury, only six foul shot attempts a game. So we're saying, is he hurting? Only he knows. Can he finish with his left hand? The Baby Bulls grew up. There'll be a new champion in the NBA. The Chicago Bulls have eliminated the Miami Heat, swept them in four, and the second city is back feeling good about basketball again. Gary Payton has been selected for the NBA Hall of Fame. Gary Payton, who retired from the NBA in 2007 after an 18-year career in Seattle, Milwaukee, Los Angeles, Boston, and Miami. Even with Shaq, that it was Posey as a guy who set the tone defensively for the club the last couple of years. Called him a guy who could defend a one, two, three, and four. And he said, right now, we're searching for a guy who can replace him and can do that. He said, it's just not that easy to find. If winning is an acquired taste, the Miami Heat enters the 2007-2008 NBA season still searching for the recipe. To some, this coming season will be a little more than the final chapters for Riley and O'Neal, leaving Wade on his own in the years to come. Alonzo Mourning was lifted on the stretcher, but he said, I ain't going out that way. Alonzo Mourning, he's not that type of guy. Big fella's going to try to walk it off. He's just a warrior, and you hate to see that. Here's a guy who's been through a lot, and it just buckled. It's a freak accident. Pat Riley, Dwayne Wade, Shaquille O'Neal won't be there after a couple of years. Without those three guys, they have no future at all. The rest of the Miami roster, I'm not sure it could win the SEC right now. Tough times in Miami. It wasn't long ago either when they were kings of the basketball universe. A lot of fingers are pointed squarely at Shaquille O'Neal. Career lows in points and rebounds thus far. Dwayne Wade saying that Shaq needs to be self-motivated. Pat Roddy getting in on it saying that Shaq has to raise his level of play. The Miami Heat got the best out of Shaq. They won a championship with him, allowed the team to become Dwayne Wade's team, free up future money when Shaq, i.e. Sean Marion, now comes off of the books. Talk about it. You came off the injury. How are you feeling now? Uh, I feel good. You know, first of all, to be back on the court. You know, I trained a lot this summer, you know, down in Chicago, really getting my strength back, really getting my confidence back. And um, it felt good to get on the court today and, you know, finally get to use it.
Miami Heat recently went through an 11 game losing streak. Previous to the 11 game losing streak, they had beaten the Indiana Pacers at home, but that snapped a 14 game losing streak. 6 and 22 on the year at home, 4 and 23 on the road. Just give me a few days or a few months on the job. I'm sure I'll look quite uh, older than I do right now. Uh, but, I mean, that's just uh, the nature of the game, and uh, this is when I, I got my opportunity. So, uh, again, I'm just looking forward. With the second pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Michael Beasley from Kansas State University. You know, taking a year off, I'm 33. I would have wanted to see what I could do too before something happened, but my championship experience maybe will rub off a little bit, but I'm not really one to be vocal and, and try to tell people with my mouth. I just try to just, just show by my actions, so I'm just here to help. He's a big time natural scorer and you just can't teach him. I think with Wade back, Sean Marion, and now adding Beasley, they're gonna be very, very hard to guard. It's an incredible talent. This guy can flat out score and he gives another weapon alongside of Wade. So they know that they are going to be a playoff team, and they know in the postseason that they are going to need a post presence, both offensively and defensively, and Jermaine O'Neal was the best option available to them. How is D-Wade continuing to perform at such a high level night in and night out? Definite MVP candidate. Dwayne Wade as a performer, he's going full speed, full throttle in attack mode at all times. Dwayne Wade has just become Miami's all-time scoring leader. He assumes his rightful position as the best scorer in the history of the Miami Heat. He breaks Alonzo Mourning's record in 213 fewer games. Some real satisfaction with the Hawks management, the coaching staff, the players, and certainly the fans as well. They've seen the slow building process of this team, including Joe Johnson. This is his fourth year. Dwayne Wade averaging more than 27 points per game. This guy, he can just do it all. First ever in NBA history to score 7,000 points, 500 assists, 100 steals, 100 blocks in a season. That is an all-around game. Amongst all of these MVPs to us, there can only be one. And tonight, that's Dwayne Wade, who scored 28 points and had 11 rebounds. Congratulations, Dwayne Wade. Boston eliminated the Heat with a final score of 96 to 86. Most of the post-game analysis was spent wondering if superstar guard Dwayne Wade would remain with the Heat or test the free agent market. I had to leave Chicago and not come to Miami and go somewhere, make a decision that was not an emotional decision and that was best for me. At the end of the day, I always said that I was going to do what was best for my family. And then I thought about it. Miami is my family. This organization is my family. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, this is very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. You three kings came down here to win championships. Not one, championships. Not two. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven.